Hey everybody, it's an exciting day. This is time to talk about the second data slate, Tyranid Invasion, Leviathan Rising 2. Well, I'm going to go through this brood by brood this time because I want, in order to get these videos out as fast as possible, I won't have time to really focus on the combinations. But let's focus on the first one for today. The one that I'm excited about is Synaptic Swarm. Let me read you the fluff on it first. In order to avoid wasting biomass on smaller, disposable swarm creatures by giving them brains large enough to channel its will directly, the hive mind instead saves this valuable resource for a secondary wave of leader beasts. These command swarms are tasked with maintaining synaptic dominance over the greater swarm, acting as a collective beacon, beacon through which the hive mind can exert its will over the lesser creatures. But such a gathering of leader beasts acts as far more than a glorified synaptic conduit, for they can just as readily spearhead an attack of their lesser kin smashing a hole in the enemy lines through which the swarm can pour. What does that mean? That means warriors are getting their own brood. So, it's brilliant. We're talking about a formation here that's going to consist of one Tyranid Prime and three Tyranid Warrior Broods. There are no formation restrictions. On top of this, they will get what's called synaptic conduits, which means that all models in this formation have synaptic linchpin. For those who don't know what that means, it means they all have a synapse range of 18 inches. Every model in the unit. Now, what's my first thoughts of this when I saw it is obviously one prime, three Tyranid warrior broods. Well, you know what they're talking about. They're talking about you're going to take two HQ choices of a prime and you get the third one with this unit. That's three primes and three warrior broods put together all with an 18-inch synapse range. Each one obviously having its own alpha leader unit where it can join and boost the, uh, the weapon skill and ballistic skill of all the units with all of them right then and there that's the easiest thing well obviously that that's got to be what it was meant for now the other interesting thing is no formation restrictions now i'm going to have to make sure and but i believe that means you are not limited to the minimum brood that you can uh, uh add units to it i'm going to go back and look at the formation rules again that could be wrong but if that's the case if no formation restrictions means that you can add models to the unit and upgrades to the unit that you're not just going to get three tyranid warriors with in each brood with their standard equipment uh then that would be even more awesome allowing you to it would, it would just be it would just be awesome i'm still i'm still waiting for the time when primes get wings but that is synaptic swarm very cool i like it next we're going to have another one which i'll talk about next will be uh basically the turvagon brood i believe it's called incubator node which will be having one turvagon and three turvagon broods i'll talk about that one next time lots of small quick videos here enjoy